Hello everyone, so I just made a fresh coffee and uh, well speaking about fresh, I have this very fresh react tutorial uh, which I'll show you guys. So here's the demo. As you can see we have this expanding search box so I can click in it and then I can type and when I click away then it goes back to its original state. If I hover over it and then hover away then it goes back to the original state. As you can see the original icon is just a magnifying glass but when I hover over it, then you can see the icon changes into uh, this arrow that when you click on it will do the search. We're not going to do the search functionality, but just uh, the UI. And if I, let's say, go mobile, then the size changes. So you can see there's the uh, there's a nice shadow and it's got a nice uh, rim or you can say a border. So yeah, that's what we'll be creating. So let's get to it. Okay, so I guess starting from start, uh, what I have is a React project and the only dependency I have is style components. So that's pretty much it. And then I have already added some folders because just to uh, speed things up, I didn't want to add them on camera, so I added them off camera. So what I have here is components folder. Within that, I have the search component and the styles component. And they're pretty blank, honestly. There's nothing in it. We'll be adding stuff here. Inside the icons, I have two files and error write. Uh, this is just the SVG of an arrow right. And then under the search, I have an icon for a magnifying glass. And again, that's just an SVG. So with that out of the way, in my app.js file, I have a title, which is the title. And then I'm bringing in the search component, which is right here. So you can see it. And then in the style.css, I only have uh, applied borders, box sizing or border box. I'll explain why I have done that. And then, you know, just a body padding. And then on, on my app, I have just a display of flex uh, just to center things up uh, and the background color. So nothing fancy here. So I'll just go in my search.js file and, uh, you know, start start uh, adding stuff here. So I guess the, the first thing I'll do is like we always do. Well, what I do is kind of put in the... Um, you know, like a markup, I guess you can say, or just comment things out of how I want them to look like. I guess I've added that just to make it happy, you know. Um, okay, so what we would need is a container that is going to store the input element or the search container. And then within that, we will just have something like a search input. And this will be the actual input that we'll be creating um, as you shall see. Okay, so before we do this, let's start adding some events because we'll be needing them. So the two events that we will need is hovered and um, focus. So the hovered is on mouse enter and focus will be, you know, uh, on focus. So what I'll do is I'll come here and I'll uh, just define them. I'll just quickly type them. I used this in one of my previous tutorial, uh, if you guys remember. Uh, the other thing I'll need is a reference to the input element. Uh, and that reference will be used to clear the element if we click away or something like that. So I will, for, to do that, we will just uh, do target ref and use the use ref react hook because that's what it is used for. All right, so we have that uh, added. And then uh, what I also need is a way of knowing when the mouse is hovered over the, say, element, the input element. So we can just create a local variable and we will say show search input. And this should be true when we hover or uh, we are focused. Okay, so that looks good. Now uh, what I'll do is we'll start adding these container and the search input components in the style.js file. So I'll come here and I'll start adding it here. So I guess uh, what we'll do is we'll say export cons container is equal to styled.div, right? That's one. And the other one we need is the uh, actually search input equal to style dot not this is going to be an input right so in case you want to add forms and stuff so that's why i'm just adding the um, input 
I'll go back here and let's start importing these. We'll say import and uh, we'll say, uh, you know, container. And yes, then we'll uh, search input. And we want to bring them from the styles. I like so. And then what I can do is get rid of this. Get rid of this. And there you go. So we actually are getting our uh, pretty blank boring uh, input okay so it's now uh, time to put some makeup on this so I'll come here and um, start spacing things around okay so the first thing we'll do is we'll give it a position and the position will be relative this is very important uh, if you have because this search input is going to be the child of this container so when you give it a position of relative, so then you can position this inside this guy. So that's very important. So now uh, the rest is we will add a width, width of uh, 50 pixel. So it's one to be round, so we'll just give it a you know that uh, that kind of you know width and height, and uh, we will give it a box sizing. Of border box so the, the, the way the reason why you use border box is so that when you wanna when you want to uh, measure the element you want it to include the padding the uh, and then the border size that's very important if you don't do that that it's, it's going to it's going to exclude that so that's very important and the other thing we'll do is border radius and we'll just give it 50 pixel and uh, I'm just going to type the rest of CSS and uh, I'll be back. All right, so as you can see, we've added a display flex, and uh, I'm sure you saw it. That actually centered the search element. Uh, you will see later on when we start uh, decorating this search element. So now let's uh, move on and uh, start the input element. So I'll just quickly uh, start adding this and I'll talk about it. Um, well, let me talk about the things that I've added here. So I've, I've given it the height of 42 pixel, and just by playing around, I found that that actually f makes it fit uh, very nice within the the container. Um, so of course, if it's uh, the size of container is different, then of course this will be different. So now that we have the input element, uh, what we will need to do is show this only when we hover our mouse over this. So initially, it'll be, it'll be hidden. So to do that, we will come over here in the search input and we can now utilize the show search, whatever thing you have uh, to pass it in here. So I guess uh, what I'll do first of all is I'll come here and I'll get a reference to this so I can start using the target ref. And we can say target ref, like so. And what I can do is uh, use a use effect, use effect. And if you know about use effect, this is going to run uh, each time, so we don't want that. And we want it only to run uh, when we need it to run. So I'll do this just to make it happy. I'll add this uh, array and we'll say show search. So we want this effect to run only when this changes, I guess. And the only thing I'm going to do is I'll say target ref dot current dot value is equal to that. So that every time we click in it, uh, it will erase the previous value. If you don't do that, it's going to remember the previous value. Just for a nice user experience. So once I have that, then what I can also do is I can come over here and I can say show search input is equal to show search input. So I can pass that into that element. And then we can use this to um, you know, show or hide this. Now the other thing I'll do is also come here and start using these uh, hooks. Sorry, these events. I'll just uh, quickly do those. Okay, so as you can see, I have just added the mouse center, mouse leave, and focus and blur. And I'm also passing in the um, this show search input. 
uh, and this will be called hover when we come over here. So I guess we can start using this now. And but the first thing I'll do is maybe start showing and hiding this, you know, based on that value. So I'll say display. That's what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna tap into that props. We'll say props, right? And then I'll say props dot show. I think we call it search input. So when it's true, uh, you block it. Otherwise, don't show it. So there you go. That worked right away. So if I hover my mouse, so um, so that works. And now the other thing we can do is we can uh, start. Remember, we pass in this hover thing. So we want to expand this actually when we hover over it. So I can come over here and I can say, do, 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 do. I can say something like this. I can say it's a function. You pass in hover, so we'll just dereference it. And then we can do this. So you can say if we hover, then you give me some CSS, right? Of course, it doesn't know what that is, so we need to bring this in. So we'll say CSS. That makes it happy. And uh, let's uh, let's put this. Whoa, let's put this on a separate line. Sorry. And I'll just come here. Okay, so I'll just give it a width of 50%. And I have so let's see. Yay, that works. Right? So that works. Okay. Um, so I got my width of 50%. The other thing I want to do is I want to add some box shadow. So you know what? I have already added that and I'll just copy and paste it here. I hate typing that. So let's see if that works. Oh, there you go. You're getting a box shadow and also you're getting a border. So when I hover over it, I think that's pretty cool. And and as you can see, the uh, it, it's uh, the effects are not harsh. They're like uh, nice and soft, and that's because of that transition. So I guess if I take this out, comment this, see how it's just like boom, sudden in your face. So we don't want that. We want it to be nice and subtle. So that's what that transition is for. Okay, so the other thing uh, I think I should do if I expand the screen, it's big, and if I come here, it's like this much. So maybe what we need to do is on big screen, maybe expand it a little bit more. And if you want to do that, you can add a media query here. So it's all totally up to you. So I can say add media, and we'll say minimum width. So it means, uh, you know, um, I think 768, that's tablets. So we're saying for, so we're saying um, for a tablets and above, I think that's what it means, right? So we need at least a minimum width of 768, and then it's going to be 80%. So let's see how that goes. Yeah, so that works. Anything above 768, it's going to be that long, 80%. Anything below that, it's going to be, you know, just 50%. So that works very well. Okay, so the one thing I see that when I click in it, it's not holding its... Um, I guess state so I guess let me and the reason why this is a problem is let's say I'm typing you know and I move my mouse that's gone so I think that's a very bad user experience we need to fix this so if I come here in my search thingy uh, and as you can see is yeah that's very cool we're not calling this see that's the problem with copy and paste and it's a great feature but you know so if I come here now click here you go if I click, click away. If I click and I hover away, it's still there. But if I click away, then yeah, so so that works. So I'm happy with that. So now the other thing we need to add is those icons. And to add the icons, we'll come back here and I'll just uh, maybe we'll say icons, right? That's where we can add them. So the icons uh, will be a magnifying glass initially. And then when you click, we want to change in, into an arrow just to, uh, you know, uh, spice it up a bit. So I'll come here and I'll say export, and I'll say const, and I'll say icon mag magnifying glass is equal to, and the function we will use called styled, right? And in this one, I'll pass in the search icon, uh, like so. And I think I need to bring this in from my icons, yes. So I'll say import. I'll say search icon from 
go out, go into icons and search. And I think the other one I need to bring is the arrow right. Right. And I'll say arrow right. There you go. Now it's complaints not used, so we'll use it. I'm going to do this and I'll say icon. We'll call it right arrow. And in this one, I'll pass in that uh, arrow right icon. So if everything worked well, this should work. And why is not working? Because, oh, okay, it did bring in styled. That's good. Okay, so it's complaining right now because something is undefined. So let's go into these icons and export default. Aha, that's why. So when you have that, then you don't need this. Should fix it. Yay, fixed. Okay, um, so let's, uh, I guess, start, uh, you know, uh, using this. And I can come here, I can close this, and I can come here, and let's uh, let's just add it here. So let's add the, I guess, the magnifying thing. So we'll say icon magnifying glass, right? And of course it doesn't know about it, so we need to bring it. Icon magnifying glass, you can do it. Okay, so let me break this on a separate lines. As you can see, it's a black color. Uh, it's got no styling on it. So that's the one thing with SVGs. When you bring in SVGs, you have to take care of all the styling and everything. So that's all uh, on you, which is good actually, if you ask me. So if I come here and I'll just um, bring this on this uh, next separate line. So I'll start off and say that, you know, uh, give it a height of 1.25. REM and let's give it a width of 1.25 REM and and then we will give it a fill of uh, let's just pick this color 00 ADB5 that's a nice uh, teal color I guess something and let's give it a Z index of 10 so that's on top of everything so as you can see we got our search icon and of course it's still showing while we have this thing expanding so we need to hide that and so I also need this and I need to have it here right so now what I'll do is I'll say when okay so I'm gonna do like this so I'll say uh, if show search input is true right then you show the arrow icon which will be icon arrow right Otherwise, uh, we show the magnifying glass. So I'll do this. I think that'll work. Uh, I can't error right. Okay. I'm going to bring it. Okay, so, okay, that crapped away on us. And let's see why. So, I can't error right. I can't error right. I can't write error. That's what it's called. Icon right arrow. So I can say icon right arrow, and then I need to do the same thing. I'll say icon right arrow. That should work. Yeah. Boom. There you go. That works. So now the icon is changing. But what I want is this icon to go to the end right here. And I don't want it to stick in the middle. So we need to fix that. So to fix that, we'll come here and, uh, okay, one thing, sorry, before I do that, I'm just jumping ahead, is uh, I can see that these two have common CSS. So I guess it would be nice if we can just do, you know, something like um, icon common CSS. And then you can do this. So I can take all of this. And I can paste it here, and then I think I can do um, something like I can common CSS. It should work, and I can do the same here, right? So let's just test. That works. Okay. So what I was saying is I want this to be positioned to the end, at the end, I guess. So for that, 
uh, we can just say align self, right? And we can say flex and uh, let's see if that works. Yay, that worked. So remember, we added this flex box thing on the parent container. That was the whole reason. So we can do these kind of simple things. Otherwise, you will have to do that float and all that garbage. So that takes care of that. And now the other thing I see is um, I would like to change the color of this and maybe the cursor. So I can say cursor pointer. Let's see. Yep, that works. And also want to maybe ch change the uh, color on hover. So currently, yeah, it's got no color. So I can do that very quickly with the hover. And then we can say fill of, um, I have this color, I'll say 393E46. Let's see. Yep, that works very well. And maybe last but not least, as you can see, when this, uh, the magnifying glass comes back, uh, it's a very harsh effect. But what I want is a, um, maybe a more uh, subtle effect, so even kind of fade in or something. So I'm just going to take some CSS from my last tutorial. If you guys remember, it was a fade in. And I can come here and I can say keyframes, bring that here. And then over here, I can say animation, animation, keyframes. And what we can do is over 0 0.5 second and we'll make it linear. So let's see. There you go. That's much better. What if I um, change this to one second? Uh, looks like it's not actually, it's not, yeah, because we're not calling it fade in. There you go. Let's three. It still looks like it's not kicking in. Oh, that's because we're not using it on on the magnifying glass. So you know what I can do? I can actually add it here. Then I don't need it on both of them. So let's see. Whoa, there you go. And as you can see, the arrow is also getting that animation. So it just slowly appears. And also the magnifying glass. I think that's it for uh, this tutorial. If uh, there's uh, any questions, any doubts you guys have, uh, just uh, shoot me a line. Uh, and uh, oh, what's that? Subscribe and like. Okay, and uh, that'll be it for now. Bye.